Hey y'all, what's up? So today I'm here with my sister, Beth. We're gonna do a video today on how to survive high school in a small school. I'm about to be a senior and she's about to go to college, so we've had our fair share of small town high school experience. And we're just going to share some tips with you today. For reference, our high school has about 700 kids. Total. We have four different categories that we're going to talk about today, and each of us have some tips for each of those. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. The first tip we have is to join clubs and get leadership positions and do community service and write all of it down, because you're going to need to have all of that stuff for scholarship applications. And the more things that you have, the more chance you have of getting a good scholarship. And since you go to a small school, um, I think that there's like kind of a better chance of getting certain scholarships and a lot of people are going to be looking for that community service and leadership positions that you have. Another tip is to just work really hard. Since you're in a small school, you have less people so you can usually, unless you have a class of like 20 something, you have a better chance of getting in the top 10% rather if you had like 5,000 people. You just have a better chance of getting in the top 10% and getting like automatic admission to colleges and that is a big deal like take advantage of that and especially freshman year you need to um, really work hard and that's gonna like start off your GPA for the rest of your four years so you really need to work hard your freshman year freshman year is not that hard it's the easiest year yeah so take advantage of it yeah and get a good start so you need to keep in mind whenever you're going into your freshman year of high school that your friends that you've had throughout middle school and junior high are not gonna be the same friends that you have in high school. Like some of them might be the same, but overall it's gonna shift around a lot. Just be really open to making new friends because your friends are really gonna depend on what activities you do and what classes you're in. The friends that you had are going to change and they might, like your best friend that you had in junior high might go a completely different way in high school than you go. So that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just that both of you are changing and it's okay. okay. So throughout the year of throughout the years of your high school experience, there's gonna be new kids that move into your school probably. I would recommend reaching out to them because if you were them, you know, sometimes especially you live in a small town and everyone knows everyone, it's kinda hard being the new kid because, you know, everyone has those relationships that they've had for a long time and you don't wanna leave someone out. Just have an open mind and like make people feel welcome. Um, the next thing is to just try to be nice to everybody because you're gonna be stuck with these same few people all four years so you might as well just try. Watch how much you gossip and then also watch how like who you gossip with. Okay, you don't want to be gossiping and talking about people with this loud mouth girl she's gonna tell everyone She's gonna tell the person you're talking about and it's gonna get around and everyone's not gonna like you. You're gonna lose, lose a lot of trust that way and then it's, since it's small town people are just gonna gossip about you. Gossiping. Just <laughs> beware. Okay, as far as relationships go, there's a lot of new people. If you're starting freshman year, there's gonna be a lot of new boys and as a freshman you don't really know who you are and like, you haven't really found yourself yet, so you're kind of naive, probably, a little bit. You're gonna, like, talk to these older boys and be like, Oh my god, they're the best thing ever, if I could just have this one guy, like... But that's not... Don't get too heartbroken if it doesn't work out, because it's probably just for the best if it doesn't, and it's just, like, you're a freshman, you have so many more years, and all freshmen are a little naive unless you just really have your life figured out in ninth grade. If you're thinking about dating an upperclassman, it would probably be the best idea to just ask around um, other upper upperclassmen, preferably upperclassmen girls, I guess, and find out that guy's reputation. And um, really listen to what they say about them because they probably know a lot more about them than you, ha than you do. And actually listen to what people say because... Yeah, just actually listen to what people say. She's learned from that. Yes, I have learned from that. She didn't so, listen. I didn't listen, so listen. Okay, another big thing for a small school. Do not send revealing pictures of yourself. Boy or girl, it will get around. It will get around. You don't want your body all over everybody. No, just yeah. keep so it. Everybody will talk about it. Off the phone. Even if it's on Snapchat, don't send any pictures because... Even though you think it'll go away, there are ways of keeping that picture. So 
You might not think that they keep it, but they probably do. So oh, they do. They not probably. Yeah, okay, they do. So just don't do it because unless you want your body all over the school. No, you don't want it all over the school. So don't do it. <laughs> the next thing is to just do what you want no matter who is in that activity. Like whether you want to do cheerleading, theater, sports, whatever. Um, just do what you want to do no matter who's in it. Even if your best friend isn't going to be in it, do it anyway because you're going to make new friends in that activity no matter what it is. So just go ahead and do it. Follow your heart. Go for it. I did athletics all through junior high and high school. And even though a lot of people dropped out after junior high and after freshman year, like, that's something I love to do. So I kept going and it's like one of the best decisions I've ever made. Also, just try your best to stay out of drama because in a small school, the drama is gonna be even worse. So just try to stay out of that as much as you can. But it is avoidable. Just because yeah. you're in a small school, don't think that it's a small school's fault. It's your fault. Yeah. You can stay out of it, okay? You can, it's possible, I promise. And it's also yeah. the people you hang out with, they might can try to drag you in it, but you need to try to control it if you don't want drama in your life. Okay, and if you're a underclassmen, don't be afraid to talk to the upperclassmen. I was totally, as, along with a lot of other people, I was totally afraid as a freshman and like didn't talk to them because I thought they were so old. But as upperclassmen, I was like, you know, you don't really feel that old. We don't bite. Not all of us. A lot of us don't bite. <laughs> and some do. but <laughs> I guess some might, but... <laughs> But most of us, like, we're not that stuck up, we think. Yeah. We're so much better, like, we'll talk to you if you you talk to us, and... Yeah, just don't be, don't be intimidated, and yeah. don't be too shy. They can mentor you, and they can help you, in yeah. a lot of ways they've been through it. And so, you know, just being friendly to them is never a bad thing. I really respect the freshmen that have the confidence to yeah. come and talk to all these upperclass- I mean, not like flirting with all the upperclassmen guys, yeah, not, I'm talking Don't just, get those like, confused. Alright, well those are the tips that we have for y'all and I hope that y'all learned something and got something out of this video. If you're going into your freshman year, just don't be nervous at all. It's gonna be fine. So be confident and be someone you're, who you would be proud of. Yeah. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed my guest that I brought with me today. She did great. Mm. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and leave any requests for other videos y'all have down below. Um, if y'all want any back to school videos, whatever, just Leave anything you have down below in the comments and I will make sure to get to them. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Bye. Bye. No, I don't even start them like that. I say, hey y'all, what's up? Yeah, you don't even. What? Oh, the door. They can't answer you. So we're gonna cover today and we each have some You can't do that smile You're every time I get real. Me. It's okay, it's whatever. But that was a cold foot. Oh my gosh. Get the cold foot! Oh my god. Just stop Just saying move oh my over. god. Just move. You and um Oh my god! I got something in my eye. <laughs> we'll fix it real quick. We're almost done. I know. I wish you would hurry. I oh, I finish. see it. Ah! I guess don't forget. If you don't finish this video. I'm, okay, I'm trying. No, you, I'm just like you. Just I've said it like 50 times. Video. I'm trying. Deep oh. breath. It's like two sentences. <laughs> okay. Make sure. <laughs> I want to just say it for you, almost. I'm saying you're right. You're just laughing. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> comments for, oh my gosh, stop it. Okay. Up. <laughs> this is so dumb. I know. Stop laughing. Just let me finish. Which kids laugh at his eyes? I don't like the way I said in chat. God, what is wrong I'll with you? <laughs> Yay. <Okay. sighs> you don't know how much self-control it's like that. <laughs>